Hello guys, welcome back to the 6th episode of the Grow Garden game series. Uh, first of all, you can now buy this game file in my Discord server down below. The invite is uh, pinned down below, it's I think the first link. Um, and yeah, you can then buy the file there, which has the current version if you don't want to code. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. So in the last episode, we made the harvesting work. So Let's place a tree. And as you can see, when this finally grows, we can harvest it and we got the tool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to sell those tools. So let's go ahead and let's go into our plant manager and let's see where we give out the tool. So we get tools. Let's see. So this is a plant seed, one tree model. Where do we harvest it? Let's see. So here, the plant events, we fire this. And then here be for the harvest. Okay, so it's here. Okay, so what we want to do here is since we harvest it there. Let me quickly check something. Okay, so mm -mm -mm. So what we want to do is we want to now calculate some weights. So in our plan manager, we at the top we have a function called rule for no we don't. Wait, where are we supposed to add this? Let me just check. Rule for height. No, no, no. Okay, so we need what do i have this here we get the height scale oh, i see okay um so what i want to do is accept us calling the model destroy we want to make a new function or plant manager under the spawn tree model under the plant seed and we want to name this function the harvest tree and it's gonna accept uh the player and the model so player comma tree model and lastly we want to do tree model for this try on here that's gonna be the last thing we do if not player or not tree model then return and yeah this is going to be a model and this is going to be a player so now in our survey we want to do this so we want to go ahead and do plant manager harvest tree we pass the player and the tree or the model in this case and yeah now we have everything here set up and then we can go ahead and do some calculations so first of all we want to get the attributes so in our plant manager when we plant the tree you can see that we set all of these attributes like the growth time the tree the, the plot name and also the height scale and all of these so we want to get all of them so we just copy them and then we replace this with get attributes uh, of course tree model so get attributes Get attribute, get attribute, we can remove this, remove this, and we can remove this. Like you can see. So then we want to give them a name, so the local uh, height scale. And then the local 
C type and then the local we don't even need the planted ads but we can get the uh, local modifier name and then we want to get the modifier I think we passed this right uh yeah we do set attributes yeah we do okay uh, then we also want to get something more. We want to get the tree ID. And we want to lastly get the definition. So plant manager. Uh, oh no, plant definitions and an access with C type. Then if not definition. Or not def or block tool. Or not tree ID, then return end, and yeah, then we also want to get the profile uh, later on. So this would be data stuff. So it's better to do data stuff. Um, and yeah, then we also want to go ahead and do. Uh, we want to get the. Let me see. So yeah, then we want to get the uh, weight. So the local base weight will be equal to plant definitions of base weight or one. And the local total weight will be equal to base weight times height scale. Then the local weight is going to be equal to a table with the total weights uh times and then uh like two thirds so this is the tools we will get and the total weights times one third it's going to be all the weights we get and then four underscore comma each weight in i pairs weights do and then we want to get the tool clone so local tool clone it's going to be equal to def dot lock tool and then clone this local model part it's going to be equal to tool clone and then find first child which is a model and get a true there and the local weight scale and the each weight divided by the total weight and the local size scale it's going to be equal to the height scale uh, times the weight scale like this um if there is a model part then we want to do four underscore comma parts in i pairs model parts called get descendants do if part is a base part then the part dot size is going to be equal to part dot size and times the size scale like this uh, then the local prefix tag will be equal to uh, empty the local mod definition is going to be equal to modifier definitions it makes us the modifier name if modifier definition uh, if modifier and not that then um, if the modifier name is going to be equal to rainbow then um yeah we can do the local uh, cycler it's going to be equal to and we have to write a script for that so let's get in the graphical storage let's make a folder and let's name this tool handlers 
auto handlers and in that i'm going to add a script i'm going to name this the rainbow um why can't i rename this now so the rainbow the side uh, color cycler and in this i'm just going to get the local tool it's going to be equal to the parent then local parts it's going to be equal to a table uh then for underscore descendant in i pairs uh tool home get descendants do if descendant is a base part then table dot inserts parts descendants uh, like this if hashtag parts is equal to zero then return ends while tool dot parents do local hue is going to be equal to and then tick and i think time 2.2 and module this by one the local color is going to be equal to color but from hsv uh, with the hue one and one or underscore more parts in i pairs parts do part dot color it's going to be equal to color and then we want to cast the weights zero from one uh, and then yeah we can close this and we can go back to our plot manager and then we can go ahead and continue on so then we want to find the cycler so it's going to be equal to replicate starch and then uh, dot tool handlers with child rainbow cycle thing called clone and then the cycle dot parent is going to be equal to the tool clone uh yeah like this and then else if mod dev dot color modifier then for underscore tool part and i pairs tool clone clone gets descendants do uh if part is base part uh then we change the part color to a modifier and then if part is a mesh part then parts dot hector id is going to be equal to nothing and like this and then we also go here if modaf dot vfx folder then or underscore comma vfx in i pairs uh, modaf dot vfx folder get children uh, do a local attach is going to be equal to tool clone and then find first child which is a base part if attach then vfx clone clone dot parent is going to be equal to attach and and then lastly we set the uh, prefix text uh, prefix text is going to be equal to mod def dot tag or nothing then we want to set some attributes so local model name it's going to be equal to def dot lock tool dot name and tool clone uh, sets attributes And we want to set the weight with each weight. And then we can copy this a bunch of times. One, two, three. And then we will just need to set the height scale. Then we want to get the model name. Uh, 
And then we want to get the seed type. If modifier name, then I just want to set the modifier with the modifier name. And then tool clone dot name and we call string dot format. And we want to format the first parameter. Uh, then following by the uh, second parameter um, with uh, Kilogram uh, next to that we want to close the bracket and then we want to give it one space and then get the name like this with a prefix tag the each weights and the model name like this um, and then tool clone parents equal to player dot backpack or player dot character and then uh data stuff uh and then we also want to do tool clone on clone dot parent it's going to be equal to player dot uh, starter gear. Yeah. And then what we want to do is we want to destroy the tree model. Okay, so now we can go back in the server and destroy all this. So we just want to. Get this and just put this there, and then we can try this out. So let's go ahead and plant the tree. Let's open the outputs. You can see nothing in there. So let's try this out and how it works. So you can see this is a normal tree. When we harvest it, you can see that we got two tools. And one has a 3.51 kilogram and the other one has 1.75 kilogram. Now we can try something else. So I have something prepared. Let me just drag it over. So I have a new, uh, I made a new wood. Let me just uh, paste it into here. And you can see it's just a basic wood with the handle down here. So this is going to be the handle. And then just a model in here, and I just welded the model to the uh, primary parts and then set the primary parts uh, here to the handle. And yeah, now I'm going to move it back to lock tools, and then I'm going to show you that the scaling and stuff like that works. So let's go ahead and plant a tree. And let's wait. You can, of course, do this with anything. I'm just making mine with a uh, tree bread now since I don't know, but you can of course make this for everything. So now you can see that those are differently scaled and yet they will also have the modifiers. So if I just plan something and hope for a golden or rainbow one, let's just plan until we get a rainbow one or a golden one. There we, there we go. Uh, let's also try the rainbow one. I don't think I'll get one since it's one in like 250 or 500 even, I don't know. But maybe we can just be lucky. Let's try out something. Let's try if we get one. I don't think we will, but maybe. No, still only normal ones. Oh, there, there we are. Okay, perfect. So. Let's wait for this to finish, and in the meantime, we can collect the gold one. You can see it has the prefix golden. And it's also golden, and it also has the particles, as you can see. And when we harvest the rainbow one, you can see it has the prefix of rainbow. And it also is rainbow. So, yeah, that's going to be the harvesting. And in the next episode, we are going to make the shop work. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And see you in the next episode. Peace.